Previously in the moving to Australia vlogs. Since Melbourne Airport wasn't looking likely to open anytime soon, we booked completely new flights and we're going to Sydney, baby. Safe to say our savings took a massive hit. 3,690. Yeah, 3,700. Call it what it is. But at least we're going home. We went grocery shopping for the last time and one of us felt sentimental, but the other did not. Are you feeling sentimental? We also went snowboarding for the last time and guys, I hit my top speed ever. Cal went and got a tattoo and I drank too much coffee and completely lost it. Get that head, get that bread, then leave. Peace out. Oh. But we also cleaned the car and said goodbye to Frankie forever. Bye Frankie. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you're all caught up. Let's get into the vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Oh, you know what I just realized actually? We haven't shown you Cal's new tattoo. Elsie, we have to show them. We haven't shown them your tattoo. Hey, grand reveal. Ooh. Ooh, it looks so good. It's honestly so cool. I seriously can't see myself ever getting like any tattoos like that. I feel like I live through other people. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. And I just, I'm too scared to do it. But anyway, today we are, today's Friday. It's four sleeps, I think, until we move. That's actually like f***ing crazy, four sleeps until we go. Anyway, today we're going to be organizing like a bunch of stuff. I need to fill out our travel declaration forms. So they're forms that you need to fill out like before you enter Australia. I need to order all of our documents to be printed because, you know, you just like need to go to the airport, have all your documents and everything like that. And we also need to go down the street and purchase everything for like our carry-on and hotel quarantine. So like snacks, sanitizer. All that kind of stuff. I'm also feeling really anxious this morning. So I don't know if I sound like nervous or anxious. That's why, yeah, I think it's just like sinking in that everything's like about to happen because it's kind of just felt like we're moving, but we're not moving because every day we're like organizing and planning stuff, but then it's like, we're still here and we're still living in our house. And yeah, I just feel like it kind of feels like everything's just about to happen <laughs> and it's kind of stressing me out. But anyway, let's order these. I have to like send these documents to this printing place to be printed. So let's do that. Let's do the travel declaration form. And I feel like I'm gonna feel like heaps better after doing those. I just finished the travel declaration and the like sending the documents to get printed. I also moved to my bed to finish it because I decided to whiten my teeth. I don't know why that kind of justifies moving to the bed, but anyway, I did that. I'm doing this thing at the moment. I don't think I actually have told you guys, but I'm trying Nova Shine for seven days and I'm trying it while like we're moving and doing it while I'm like organizing the move. You'll see like when the video comes out. I don't even know where I was going with that. I think I just kind of like wanted to tell you that. I was doing it because I'm so bad at keeping secrets. Anyway, uh, the travel declaration form was actually pretty easy to fill out. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than what it was for some reason, but basically just had to give them like all of our details and our flight details. And then, oh, there was a section where I got to fill out a bunch of stuff about hotel quarantine so I could tell them that I like am extremely claustrophobic and claustrophobic and that I suffer from really bad anxiety and everything, which I feel a lot better knowing that I've told them that because I think we did this together but I filled out a form I'm just covering the camera. I filled out a form for Melbourne Hotel Quarantine ages ago. And on that form, they asked so many questions about if you had any health concerns, dietary requirements, basically like anything like that. And when we got our flights changed to Sydney, I like immediately looked up trying to find the form for Sydney. And turns out there isn't one. So I was really worried about how I would tell them like all of that information. I was like, Shit, what if I'm gonna have to tell them like when we arrive? Because I'm not the best person at talking about what I need and being honest and upfront like I kind of hide it all away I'm working on it but I was like if I have to tell them when I get off the plane I'm already gonna be super anxious and I know I'm just gonna be like oh no I'm fine like I'm fine anyway turns out you just put all that information in your travel declaration so I feel good that all of that is written down and submitted anyway that's all done it's like 12 30 I think and we just have to wait for an email to say that we can go pick up like the printing documents but I'm still feeling like kind of really anxious so I'm just gonna go and edit and then I will see you when we go out and about, well, that's very Canadian.
Okay guys, it is officially, I want to say moving day, but packing day. We are moving out tomorrow. Actually, do we have a set time to move out tomorrow anymore, Cal? We're just moving out tomorrow. Yeah, not set. Yeah. We just said it would be out by like three. Yeah, we don't have a set time, but we have our COVID test at 10. Why well, don't I know any of this important information? We have our COVID test at 11, so we're gonna pack everything today and then, yeah, like have everything ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow we're moving into our friend's place. We're not really like moving in, but we're staying there for two days. Um, Probably TMI, but also if this is TMI, then it's 2021, like grow up. I have the worst period pain right now. Like it is excruciating. I've taken Advil, I've taken I've taken Advil, I'm taking anything else. It is not going away. Like I'm I'm really struggling here. Like Kel has already started. He's packed. Have you really packed all of your clothes? Yep. Yeah, okay. So Kel's packed his clothes. I haven't done anything. I've just been sitting down and waiting, but the day must go on. So I'm gonna push through. I think I'm gonna start with my clothes. I have a suitcase and a hiking bag and also like a little carry-on suitcase. So I'm gonna pack like the carry-on suitcase with stuff like in case our bags get lost and also like stuff to live out of for the next couple days. And then I think I'm gonna put most of my little clothes in the hiking bag and then like my big sweaters and stuff like that and all of our toiletries in my suitcase but also at the same time i low-key have no idea <laughs> if that's what i'm actually gonna do and if that's gonna fit but we'll figure it out okay let's start <laughs> <laughs> maybe i just donate all this stuff what is it just like play suit oh it's like all my summer stuff oh my god oh <laughs> uh, then she met me at the college Her friends play my songs and they've been following me Yeah, I don't like to do that much explaining and talking Just know she had coffee with me, yeah I hear you like pizza and dancing Love that is not that romantic Okay, we've come up with a new plan because the plan of putting everything on the bed and trying to pack our own stuff into our own suitcases just isn't working out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything in the house that we're packing and then put it like along this wall. So it'll be like kitchen stuff, not that there's much, but kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, books, just everything. And then we're gonna have all of our clothes as well. I'm gonna split our clothes into like coats, sweaters, like bulky stuff and small stuff basically. And then over here, we're gonna put both of our suitcases my hiking bag and then my carry-on suitcase and then we're gonna pack each one at a time and like divvy all of our stuff out between them to make sure we get like the best stuff in the right one so that all the weights work i feel like this is a better system because i don't know why we were trying to just pack our own stuff into our own suitcases when like we're gonna go to the same place we don't need to do that so i'm gonna do this i'm going to grab all the stuff from the bathroom because i've just announced it apparently that's what i'm gonna do and then Let's get it. Woke up at 11 o'clock. I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some I don't give a fuck. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you gotta say. What the deal? How you feel? Not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches. But don't be coming at me with that horse shit. Acting like you know me, that's the worst shit. I know in my soul. All right, this is absolutely everything that we own and are taking back. I don't think it looks like that much stuff. Thoughts? Time to tell. <laughs> the plan is we don't actually know like where to put anything in the suitcases yet, but we're just gonna start. Cause I feel like sometimes you just have to start and then like it all works out. Um, I'm also feeling so much better. My like Advil kicked in and I feel like I have a personality now, man. Like the last couple of times I've come and spoken to you, I feel like I've been a complete bitch and I'm so sorry, but like PMS. Okay, let's um, let's actually pack. So Kelsey, are you thinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was about to say, 
Should we put your hiking bag to one side and then put like some jumpers along there? Mm-hmm. Or like a denim jacket or something really annoying down there? Yeah. Okay, so I present to you maybe the denim jackets? <laughs> <laughs> I present to you maybe this. Let's think this through. So all of this little stuff, all of this little stuff Kel can go in the hiking bag and then we'll put all of the big sweaters in my suitcase and then we'll put all of like the little books and cosmetics and stuff that could be broken like with the stuff surrounding it and then i don't know about your suitcase yours could be like shoes maybe because they're pretty light compared to like heaps of sweaters mm. if you like picked up all of these and picked up all of the shoes i feel like the jumpers would be heavier you know okay, okay. should i weigh it yeah backpacks four kilos so. yeah 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 what is it? Oh, I have to tell. Oh, uh, oh, oh! I think it's over by like the tiniest bit. What is it? It's ninety-three point. What? Ninety-three point nine. That's like twenty-six kilos. Damn it! Okay, too much. Round two. Can you read it? Or do you need me to read it? Twenty point six. So it's good. I think so. Twenty sixty-eight. That's twenty-two point six. Ooh. And we have twenty-three. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, one bag. Probably put like money shorts in it or something. Oh yeah, even like my pajamas, like they're so lightweight. There's, a, there's like a gap still for stuff, but it can't be heavy. Okay, let's put yeah, let's put some other like really light stuff in there. <laughs> Round three. Oh, oh my god. Ninety-one point four. Ninety-one point four. Twenty-three point seven. Oh, okay, let's just take all of it out. Let's just take it out and just well, not take all of it out, but take all that small stuff we just put in it and just. It can be the shoes, denim jackets, and hiking bag bag. We've used all these little. Love a siren moment in Vancouver. Mmm, city laugh, baby! Woo! <laughs> oh, I actually hope someone's okay. Anyway, we used all these little sandwich bags to wrap up our toiletries because there have been so many times in my life that I have had toiletries explode in my bag. One time I had fake tan explode literally everywhere in my suitcase and it got all over this white I love LA shirt that I just bought that honestly like I shouldn't have even bought it it was probably a sign because I don't even love LA that much so I'm not dealing with that again so we've wrapped up literally everything also I don't know if anyone is gonna care but I'm gonna share anyway this is my favorite moisturizer in the whole entire world and you can't get it in Australia and it's like ten dollars over here so I have bought I'm only taking two back with me at this stage but yeah, I'm like stocking up my suitcase with these. I remember like one time a couple of years ago, this girl at work in Australia, she went to America and I was like, please bring me back like bottles of Lubriderm. I'm obsessed with it. Anyway, just thought I would share. Best moisturizer ever. Also, does anybody else kind of feel like this seems dodgy even though it's like not actually dodgy or illegal? Putting toiletries like underneath sweaters and stuff in your luggage, I feel dodgy. Like this doesn't look normal, you know? And obviously everyone does it so that things don't like smash or leak or anything, but I feel dodge. I feel dodge like hiding Olaplex like underneath a sweater, I don't know. I don't know. This doesn't go through an x-ray machine. I know that it's okay and they see it and it's fine, but it just feels like sus, you know? Okay, back to backing. Mm. 81.1, what is that? There's only like 13. 13 kilos, oh my god, we can put so much more in there. We should put some books in there because it's yeah, worth so heavy. Yeah. Um, do you want to weigh my suitcase? We'll the top, yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, we can put stuff there too. Do you want to weigh my suitcase oh, first? Because I feel like it might be over, but at the same time, there's still like heaps of room in it. Oh, this is definitely lighter than mine. I just get nervous. 88, not sure what that is. I can't even remember what we're adding anymore. <laughs> Oh, heaps, we still have like three kilos. Oh, we've got two kilos. Not me just tripping over this. Okay, so I still have like two kilos in my suitcase. All I have left to try and fit in there is this, so it's fine. But I wanted to weigh it because I kept feeling it was stuff and I was like, I had a bad feeling it was gonna be over. But anyway, we're nearly done. Also, I have really not packed the suitcase the proper way. Like, you know when you see people and they're like, travel hack, like roll up all your t-shirts and 
roll up your jackets and stuff. Haven't done that, not gonna lie. Cannot be bothered, okay? Like if we can fit it like this, fast and loose, baby, like just chuck it all in, weigh it, you're good, let's go. So, let's go. <laughs> What is it? 85.6. Woo! This is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that mine has acquired more than three kilos worth of stuff since we last weighed it. What? You're making me nervous. 92.8. I don't know, quick math, but it doesn't sound good. So 25.2. Damn it, okay. I thought this might happen. Oh, well, we've got room in here though. Maybe we can just- well, we don't have room, we have weight. Yeah, we can move some of the heavy. I put a bunch of books in there. They could just go in there, oh, yeah. so. We'll make it work. Why does this hiking bag with the two smaller hiking bags on top look the equivalent of when iPhone came out with the iPhone 12 or 11 and it had the three cameras? <laughs> like this looks like the hiking equivalent of that. All right, it's 5.55. We are done for the most part. Honestly, getting everything we have into two suitcases and a hiking bag has been super easy, but it's the weight that keeps throwing us off. And I feel like not me trying to blame all of the weight on like five hard drives, but because we're both creatives, we have so many like hard drives and cameras and just, it's like we have one camera and five hard drives. Like it's clearly that we have too many like clothes and other stuff. But anyway, we've been spending hours trying to get our like weight balanced out between the three bags. But guys, we have all of this stuff down here to donate. Like there's so much. So we're gonna go take this to the thrift store now before it closes and then try and get the bags all sorted when we get back. But I feel like we're probably gonna end up getting like really harsh soon and just throwing out, well, donating like more stuff and then probably doing like a trip or two to the thrift store in the morning. But oh, Man, we're so close, but also like kind of so kind of so far at the same time. <laughs> down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm